Today I want to find out if my Energy Kodiak uh, solar generator uh, not only is it capable of running the Max Air Fans, which I have down here, I bought two new Max Air Fans for my ProMaster van, which I'll be setting up later um, and reviewing as well. But I want to see if the Kodiak, how low can it actually keep on powering these Max Air Fans before it completely gives up? Um, so the subject of this video is how low can the Kodiak go? So let's test it out. Now I don't need for the Kodiak to be on for the for this to, for this to power these fans, but I'm turning on the Kodiak uh, display so that I can see the uh, wattage that is pulling from both these fans, which are connected together with these alligator clips, and it's run this wire right here to the post. So, let me connect the positive. And let me connect the negative. All right. <clears throat> You can see it, 11 watts already is the Kodiak's what it's normally pulling just to run this display in the fan. Um, so this, these fans aren't turned on yet, but his, his own internal fan is pulling like 11 watts, approximately. So now I'm gonna turn on the fans, both of them. And they're on low. For right now, I don't know how that's going to come out with the high on the video. So it's pulling two, two, two fans at low watts, low speed, about five watts. That's what they're pulling. And you see it's at level uh, three bars, which is like lower than 50%. Because all the way over here, all the way to the, to the end up here is somewhere here. It's around um, uh, 100%. So right now it's less than 50%. So, got the fans running, got the Kodiak telling me how many watts there are, and you can see once I uh, increase the speed, you'll see the watts go up, of course. And that's positive. And you'll see the Kodiak go up a little bit in volts, or in watts, rather. I'm not sure if you can hear the fans, but they're on. They're spinning. They're on the highest setting. And now it's pulling um, <clears throat> 31 watts approximately. Both fans on high. It's not bad for two fans. Full power. So now I'll put it on low. So now they're both on, on low, and you can see the wattage uh, went down. So they're on like extremely low. You see the fans turning still. So this is going to take a while. Let me put some more power to the Kodiak. I got another fan here. I like it cold. And now you see the power draw 42 watts with this fan. And if I turn it all the way to high, now it's 65 watts total. Got these fans still running. And now it's at two bars. So it went down low. 
So it's down to 9.35 volts right now, as you can see. Still putting out power efficiently for that fan, that fan, and this fan on high. And I could turn these fans up on high if you want to really um, tax it. So now everything's on high. Got three fans going at the same time. 92 watts I'm generating on high for all these fans at one time. Now I'd like to share with you guys that I'm not all that impressed with the Max Air fans. This Fernado right here puts out more air, but it's also twice the watts. These cost double than what this cost. But, I mean, I can, I can mount them to the roof. They can do reverse um, exhaust, which I like, for the heat. And with those two fans, and possibly this fan, I don't need an air conditioner. This is enough airflow for any person can possibly desire. But you know what? I'm a hot person. I like it cold. Let me see if I can fix that. I got another fan. <laughs> More power. Uh-oh, I'm at one bar. Can I handle another fan? Let's see. Went to 135 watts, but all these fans run at the same time. This one's on high, that one's on high, that one's on high, that one's on high. It's pulling 128 watts. Oh, I got no indicators on the Kodiak. It's gotta be get, getting ready to die pretty soon. 8.68 volts. I don't know how much lower it can go. How low can it go? Can it go down low? Uh oh, it just cut off. So now we're done. These two fans are still running. These two fans just cut off. So at 9 point, well, 8 point something was volts was the max. But I wonder if I put these on low, what would happen? Nothing. Nothing. Wow. Got two bars again now. All right, so these two are out of commission. Can no longer power those two. These two are to run like a champ. I wonder if that's because they're using the um, external battery post terminals. Let me lower this down. To the lowest setting so it pulls less watts and let me see if I can fire up one of these guys nope these are out of commission oh wait one just came back on oh they both just came back on okay so <clears throat> The lower the watts, when the battery's at the lowest, it can still power all these fans still. But if I turn this one on high, turn that one on high, it won't be enough watts at this lowest stage battery level to power all these appliances, which is four fans. So this was a great test. Now I know I can still run at least those two fans still lower than, than, than what this is showing. If I turn these off, these will probably go another hour maybe. I don't know. But you can hear this one's on. This one's on. These guys are spinning. They're on very low settings. And we're pulling 66 watts. The battery's at 9, 8.99 volts. 
Got one bar on the uh, Kodiak. At one point it had no bars. So it was pretty low. I mean, Max Fares are good for very low settings. And they pull the least amount of watts at the lowest setting. So I give Max Air credit for that. But this Vernado, even this little Honeywell, puts a lot of air out. But they charge, you know, tax twice the watts. Depends how much airflow you want, how much you're willing to sacrifice on the watts that you need. But the Kodak can also be charged via solar panels right here and also um, via wall socket 120 volt right there and and there's a DC adapter as well for uh, external plugs USB connectors for external plugs of course all the AC outlets six of them and this is for the um, for your 30 amp connection to your camper RV which I don't ever plan on using but it's a nice feature for people who are interested it's a well made box solid and I do a lot of testing a lot of torture testing and so far it's done pretty well except for when it gets down to like this this level of battery or even 50% or less can't run the high watt appliances like a refrigerator blow dryer um, curling iron or a microwave those are high watts those work when the it's full and above 50 percent when it gets below 50 percent eh, struggles I don't know why that does that because it's a lithium battery it's not supposed to struggle until it runs out of juice completely but it doesn't do well on heavy loads when it's